Hello YouTube, I'm Mitz here today with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to mod your Borderlands 2 character. Yes, this does include weapons and stuff like that. But unfortunately it's not like stat mods or something like that. You can't like just mod the damage or something. Okay, but uh, what you're going to need is either Horizon or Modio. In this video I will be using Horizon and you will need a, another program called uh, Gibd Borderlands to Save Editor and I will provide download link to that and probably one for Horizon just to be helpful. But uh, you're gonna need any or just a USB and uh, you don't necessarily need to do this to your current character, you can do it to a fresh character, mod their level up to 50, so on. Okay, what we're going to do is put in the flash drive, go to games, Borderlands 2, and open up any of your characters. I'll be opening up my Macromancer named Mechie. And then, you need to go to contents, and then the save game dot SAV right click and then extract uh, I'm gonna save it to my documents I would recommend saving them or saving it to one place and then when you save the other one from the save editor to a different location so they're not like overriding each other or something so you always have a backup so I'm gonna save it in my documents file extracted successfully. Now we're going to open up the save editor. Okay, and then you're going to click open. Go to wherever you saved your uh, save game at. Open it. And then it'll have all the stuff here. You can change your class to whatever you want. You can change your already made character. Say you already have an assassin. You can change it to a gunzerker or something. And that does work. I've already tried it. You can change your level. You can, I believe you can go over 50, but, um, yeah, that's obviously, well, that's real obvious that you cheated since the max level is 50. But then you can, uh, edit your experience points. That is, I believe, the max for when you hit level 50 legit. And then these, uh, general skill points for your skill trees and stuff, I'm not too sure what the specialist skill points are for, but, I don't know. Uh, you can change your name, your head, and your skin, all under the player tab. Currency, this is uh, your money, your iridium, and I'm not too sure which uh, serif crystals are, but I put mine at 99 for, just in case, for some reason, I don't know. And there's this, I'm not 100% sure what all that's for, fast travel, there's nothing on it as far as I can tell. And then backpack is where you go for all your weapons and stuff. Um, here. New weapon. We will make a uh, shotgun. What you do is just look at the shotgun that has the makes, torque, DDR, Jacobs, Hyperion, and Bandit. We're going to go with Jacobs. And then you click the balance. This is well, uh, this is like sort of how, what like the rarity and stuff. Like, uh, this is common, uncommon, rare, very rare. And this is the striker legendary. And this is unique weapons: the tidal wave and trick, trick weirtra. Not too sure. And then this, but I believe this won't work. Yeah, it's got the red around it. I don't understand why exactly it's an option if you can't use it. But I uh, will just go with very rare, which is purple. And it will never.
come up with anything under manufacture but you do need something so here is the code for that gd underscore manufacturers dot manufacturers dot just uh well i'm going to copy that go ahead and get that code pasted in there and then this will be the manufacturer so you don't have to put whatever you, it is up there you could put like doll or something that'll still work but you do need it i believe i've had uh, some problems with it not are the reloading animation not working if i didn't put a manufacturer so just keep that in mind and then this manufacturer grid which i'm i believe is the level the weapon requires or is required to use but i could be wrong so i just put it at 50. Then the body of the gun, the grip, the barrel. This is all sort of how your gun's going to look. We'll put Hyperion. Science uh, stuck. Torque element. Apparently none. Accessory number one. Uh, da, da, da. Put a vertical grip, I guess. There's never any accessory number two on any of them for some reason. I don't understand why that's an option. Material uh, prefix. There's never anything for that either. So I don't know. I'm not too sure what this game stage is, but whatever. Now that weapon is done. As far as uh, making an item, I have not got any of this to work. I've tried making shields and other things, but I haven't got any of it. Um, well, as far as that goes, that's, that's pretty much it. Hope you, well, no, oh, fuck. Just save it. Since I already have it in the documents, I'm going to save it here. At the desktop, now. Oh. Alright, now it's saved on the desktop. Go back to Horizon. Right click on the save game. Uh, SAP. Click replace. And replace it with the new save. File replace successfully. Rehash and resign. I like resign. But I like to do it twice just to be safe. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Now you'll load up your game. You'll have whatever gun you just made. So on and so forth. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And please subscribe and like this video. If you thought it was awesome or something. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment. And we'll try to answer them. See you guys later.